Okay, this is Pain User, and who are we waiting on here? Okay, this is Pain User, and I am going live casting HD StarCraft, my good friend Alex, versus another friend of mine, Graf, uh, on. What map are we on here? Steps of War. And the game is starting in 3, 2, 1, live. Uh, last game we had a really long load. Hopefully, it's a little bit shorter this time. Somebody was using a using a crank modem last game, or a mouse wheel modem. <laughs> Need to feed their feed their mouse and feed their hamster some steroids so he can run faster, generate more power on the wheel, get that modem going. We're talking like dark ages here, dark ages modem. Anyways, uh, this is gonna be on Zerg versus Terran on Steps of War, and this will give HD. A uh, chance to showcase some of his Zerg skills. He's actually a really good Zerg player, and he's always busy casting games for you guys. So this will give him a chance to throw up a, a game of him playing. And Graf has has always been uh, a top ten diamond or platinum or whatever the highest division has been at the time on ladder. Um, he's a, a real active player. Man, so yeah, super long load time again. Whoever. <laughs> this is you you really got to get a new computer buddy it's the the five minute load times are are pretty uh pretty irritating especially when you're trying to live cast a game like this all right and we are live graph spawning in bottom position on steps as the pink Terran and we've got HD spawning as the Zerg at top position in red so Let's see. Let's see what both players opt to go for this game. Uh, last last game they played was was fairly standard from both players, except for uh, Graf actually did a a very fast early expansion on Desert Oasis, which I'm not a fan of. But uh, HD didn't punish him for it at all, and uh, Graf managed to take the win. So we'll see if uh, we'll see if HD can turn it around this game and and hopefully come out with a win. See if he does the uh, extractor trick again. Nope. Opting not to do the extractor trick on Steps of War. And he's just gonna scout early with uh, an 11 scout, and I think he might get in before the wall finishes. Graf doing a 10 racks. I think he might be expecting some kind of rush or something. But I'm going to try and cast this game more from HD's perspective, because he's obviously going to be recording in his first person, so it'll make a lot more sense to you guys if I if I stick with his side of the game. It'll Because obviously you guys can't see what's going on in graph space or, you know, what he's doing, so I'll, I'll give you periodic updates as to what he's doing, but we'll see. Graf getting his orbital on 12, that's a real early orbital, and he opted for a 10 rax as well, so I think we might be seeing some kind of really early pressure out of Graf, maybe build up a small uh, marine contingent and then head out and try, and try and pressure HD, but I really don't think that's a good idea, because HD usually likes to likes to go a little overkill on the early zerglings, he, he always makes, you know, 6 to 8 early zerglings and generally gets early speed, but he's going for an early expansion this game. He expanded on 14, so HD is going to get a booming economy this game, and I'm, I'm a huge fan of this play. A lot of Zergs are really hesitant to expand on Steps of War, but I mean, I definitely feel that it's a map you can expand on and expand safely on. Graf is going for his double gas here, so he is going to do some kind of mech build, maybe a factory into Starport, I don't know, we'll see, but he hasn't finished his wall yet. Okay, there we go. He just dropped his second depot, and he is finishing his wall. And he is getting in early factory. Oh, let me turn my attention back to HD. HD got his initial two lings out, and he didn't build the initial six lings. I love it. He's getting his second queen. His first queen is already out. He's keeping up on the spawn larva, so... Props to HD for doing a much more economical build. 
I think he's just gonna send that second queen straight to the natural, yeah. Okay, he's got both his gas up at this point. Hold on, I'm just telling the specs to stop talking because they're just flooding the screen with uh, spectator chat. It's really irritating. I'm trying to cast this game. Alright, and it looks like HD, yeah, he, he's gotten a very early creep tumor up. I'm also a huge fan of this. He's, he's going to creep, uh, connect his main to his natural and then continue on down the ramp into the mid. And I think that's really good on this map to get an early creep tumor out like that. Graf is actually getting an early starport and early siege tech, so he's doing some kind of marine marine tank pressure. He's got, I'd say, a contingent of about six marines out already on the field. And and what we might see out of Graf here is some kind of early pressure towards HD's natural. And HD is getting that third queen again. So it looks, yeah, looks like he's going to get uh, get that second creep tumor going. And I'm a huge fan of this. I really like this play from HD. And what he what he needs to do here is is really power drones hard, and then I would love to see him get some hydras out and some roaches and go roach hydra. But he's he's really not a fan of the roaches at all. I don't think I've ever seen Alex build a roach. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, he always either goes speedling into hydra or speedling into sp uh, speedling into muta. But he's he's not even getting speedlings this game. He's just going straight into mutas. So. And that'll actually be great for dealing with this early Viking that Graf's getting out. Graf is just going, he, he went straight into Viking play. And he looks like he's going to go scout with this Viking, go Overlord hunting, see if he can find anything. And I think he's going to find an Overlord at the uh, Zelnaga Tower. Alex sending two lings to the Zelnaga Towers just to get that extra vision. And yeah, looks like the Viking has run into the Overlord at the uh, top Zelnaga Tower, so... Alex is going to lose that Overlord, but thankfully he's got another Overlord on the way, so he's not going to be supply capped for too long. And his Spire is just about to finish, and he's saved up a good bit of money. And he's also got a, a really good economy going. Let me turn my attention to the Incub tab real quick. Yeah, 